When you want to build a simple free website, it could be tricky to find the right builder. Some only let you have one page, while others make you dig around for menus to figure out how to use them. What if you just want to drag and drop some text and images in a decent looking layout? As usual, Google has your answer. Google Sites is Google's website builder. When you put Google Sites versus WordPress or another advanced website builder, it won't really stack up. But it still has what you need to create a blog, portfolio, business site, or company intranet. It's also simple enough for non-business users to create websites for their families, friends, and classrooms. Plus, it's free. Let's try creating a website of our own. Go to sites.google.com and choose one of the options at the top to start a new site. Once we do that, we can create a header. At the top left of that header, you'll find a field that says Enter Site Name. The name you enter here will appear on your website, but you can give your site a private name on the main Google Sites page where you go to edit your sites. When you hover over the mouse over the site name, you'll have the option to add a logo that appears on the left of the name. It comes up small, so use a simple and clear image. Next, go to the lower left of the header section to edit your header. Select an image to use as your background, then choose from four header types. Cover, large banner, banner, or title only. The first three options present your background image in various sizes, while the last uses only header text. The lower right corner of the section has options to adjust the image for better header readability and lets you choose where to anchor your image. After you decide on your banner size and background image, work on the header text. Click on it to edit its styles, size, font, and alignment. Drag the dots to the top of the text box to move the box left or right. Or delete it if you don't want any text. If you want to add an image on the top of your header image, double click anywhere on the banner, then use the circle menu to add from a URL, your Google Drive, or your computer. You can also use the menu's middle button to add extra text boxes. Once your headers are set, you can choose a theme. Click the Themes tab at the top of the menu on the right to modify your site's design. Each theme has a few preset color schemes and fonts. You can also click the plus icon under the custom category to make your own theme that Google Sites will save for later. Click the Insert tab in the right bar to add the following elements to your site. Basic Elements Basic elements include text boxes, image embeds, and Google Drive files. You can also access these options through the circle menu by double-clicking anywhere in your site in progress. Content Blocks Content blocks are pre-made blocks of texts and images that save you time adding individual elements and arranging them. Collapsible Group A collapsible group consists of a header with a collapsible text underneath. You can change any combo of header and body text into a collapsible group by clicking the collapsible toggle that appears when you click on their text boxes. Table of Contents Google Sites Table of Contents automatically generate links that jump to different sections of your website using text from each section. You can remove items, but you can't add them. Image Carousels You add two or more images to an image carousel that you can navigate using the dots below it or have it automatically cycle through the pictures. Buttons. Buttons allow you to create a link button that draws its fonts and colors from your theme. Dividers. Google Sites creates simple dividers with a design based on your chosen theme. Placeholders. A placeholder section holds space for an image, YouTube video, Google Calendar, or Google Map. The insert menu also allows you to integrate with other Google apps. You can choose from YouTube, Calendar, Maps, as well as many other Google apps. If you want to collect contact information, you can either use Google Forms or an embed code from a third-party app. Once you have everything set up, it's time to make your site look organized. Rearrange your elements at any time by clicking and dragging the dots at the top of each one. New elements appear at the bottom of the page, and you can drag them next to existing elements to create columns. You can move single elements to the left or right, but you can't change their vertical positions within a section. Click and drag the dots on the left of the section to move it. There, you'll also find options to change its background color, duplicate it, or delete it. Switch up your section background colors to add emphasis and break up visuals. Once your first page is set up, you can add more via the Pages tab. Go to the plus icon at the bottom of the menu to add a new page. 
This button also lets you add an outside link or menu category to your header menu. You can also move page names around in the pages menu to change their order in your website's menu. You can drag a page under another page or a menu category to make it a subpage. On your site menu, a subpage appears as a drop down menu item below its parent page or category. You can also click the three dots next to a page name to make it your home page, duplicate it, add a subpage, hide it from the menu, or delete it. Once your page is looking up to par, it's time to share your hard work. Click the Publish button at the top right side of the screen. As you publish, you can set up the end of your custom URL. You can also hide your website from Google results if you want to keep it private. Once your website's published, you can view your site via your custom link. Making Google websites is easy. If you want to read more about website creation, you can check out our blog listed on the Zapier website. Click the link in the description.